Hello, everybody. Oh, goodness. We're a few minutes late. I had to run downstairs and try to find Jeff's phone cord. I got a new stool, so now I can sit down. Wait and see who all comes on here in just a second. Let me move my paper. We're going to make three Christmas trees, fabric Christmas trees. I'm out of breath. I started painting this one. Hey, Tina. I started painting this one this blue, and then I saw this paint. I'm going to repaint this one to this darker shade of blue. I think it'll look better with what I'm wanting. Goodness, I'm out of breath. Hey, Tarita. Hey, Kayla Caldwell. Let me shake this up just a little bit. You always see a bunch more people than I see. I, I, Facebook's just crazy. As long as I can tell you. Hey, Rita. Hey, Rita. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and paint this this darker blue because it's it's more the shade that I'm wanting to put this fabric on. This is a little too blue blue. Hey, Shorty. And I want it to be that little darker. You really can't tell it much on the camera, but it, it is a different color of blue. And I think it'll match the ticking that I have here that I'm gonna Mod Podge on here. Hey, Pat Miller. Carol, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm um, trying to still take it a little bit easy after uh, having the heart cath and then having the stent put in, but all in all, I feel pretty good. Oh, thanks, Kay. We weren't thinking that he brought something upstairs to me, so he decided to stay up here for a little while. Hey, Rita. Okay. Good evening, Pam. I've already got one of these painted red. This one's blue, and we're going to do a black one. Well, thank you for share, Shay Airing, Lisa. <laughs> That's a good word. Shay Airing. Thank you. Simply Simple Creations by Sheila. In the it's house. Sheila. Hey, Sheila. And if you're a crafter, make sure you put your link in my on in the comments. That way, everybody can go follow you too. And make sure you guys go join our craft or Christmas in July extravaganza. Absolutely, Carol. I feel pretty blessed, let me tell you. Let me dry this real quick. I don't have anywhere to lay it. Hey, Teresa. I need hey, to get, we're doing good. I need to get my glue gun up here. Thank you, Rita. You my heat gun. Oh. This is just a little slower. <laughs> I am a soap maker now. Okay, we just said that. I didn't see that. That was Linda Walters. Linda Walters. This is dad turned into a soap maker. <laughs> yeah, my dad did too. Well, and your mom. Hey, Ellen. Hey, Judy Black. Trembling, all right. <laughs> we'll take it either way. Well, Tarita, I think the good Lord is just tackling my issues one at a time until we find them all. <laughs> I think so too. I, I think you know it's it's not been uh, boom with all of it. It's been one thing and get that resolved and go to the next thing. So yeah, it's just um, been one thing after another. It has been. Can everybody hear me okay? Because I've got my new earbud just sitting here next to me. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, hey Judy Florence. Moser. Yeah, she's got her VW yep. man shirt on. I got my VW shirt on. Oh, awesome, Linda. ElkCreekSoap.com. Okay. She said you've been busy, busy making soap all day. I'll have to go in there and look at that. Okay, this is the last one right here. And I'm just gonna use some black acrylic paint I have here. Hey, Marquita. I'm completely out of black chalk paint. Hey, Debbie. And. Yeah, you can tell I had dialysis today. My voice is just a little bit raspy. Yeah. Always is. Okay. Let's go down Thank here. You, Judy. We're just gonna paint the edges of these because we're not gonna. Mod Podge the fabric on the um, sides. We're just going to leave it painted. 
So I try to coordinate the sides with the colors that we're going to be using. They're hammering you good. Good. Oh my goodness, Linda, you have been busy. What's that? Made 79 bars already for a craft show in my business. Oh, wow. I'll definitely have to go check that out. Now, you're based out of Oklahoma, aren't you? For some reason, I'm thinking you are. Hey, Michelle Della, honey. I'm doing good, Judy. I really am. Yeah, Tarita, you know, Satan does work on us over time and tries to keep us from sharing things, but, you know, it's just one of those things. What, what the enemy meant for evil, God meant for good because they found that 90% blockage before anything ever happened uh, and before I got any heart damage. So, yeah. yep, I'm blessed. Okay, set that one there. And I'm putting all my dirty brushes there on a plate. And let me close this paint up here. And set it over there. Oh, that is awesome, Tina. I'll be praying for her as well. Let her know I'll have her in my prayers. Hey, Sue Adams. Oh, goodness. Let me see here. Make sure I get this off because I don't want to get on the fabric. Okay. I'm going to set this black one over here. We're going to let it dry. And we're going to put the blue one over here and let it dry. Because I know that the red one is dry. Well, Linda, we're glad you tuned in to us. And I'm glad that I can finally help Lisa a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to use this fabric right here. I had this last year from the the um, Christmas tree, the rag trees that we um, had as a kit last, last July that about drove me crazy. They blew up a lot more than what we thought they would. <laughs> yeah. I cut a lot, a lot of strips. Hey, Tawana. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Robin. And I'm just going to put this on here. And I'm going to try to make sure I keep my checks straight so it doesn't mess with my eyes. Oh, thank you, Susan. That's sweet. Okay. Angie! Hey, long time no see. I'm going to... How are y'all doing? Let me get All my... way up the road to sell it, so. Okay, that's what I thought. Angie Barnard. Oh, yeah. Hey, Angie. thought you were talking about the soap bars. No, no, no. no. Okay. I'm going to cut this side right here. We're going to do both sides of this. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Did I not bring my Mod Podge to the table? Uh -oh. I brought everything over here but the Mod Podge. Hey, Wynette. Hey, Susan. Hey, Gladys. Sandy from Southwest Florida. Oh, waiting on Elsa. Yeah, you guys be careful out there. I guess I didn't bring it over here. Right here it is. Hey, Barb. Hey, Sandy. Sharon. Sandy says your hair looks great. Oh, thank you. Well, yeah. this is... If you're in the storm path, you guys be careful. Let me take that off. Let me get a diaper while I can clean off my lid here. Angie, how's Craig doing? Get all these little hard pieces off so I don't have to deal with it. Hey, Amy. Hey, Yvonne. There we go. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just take a smaller brush here. And let's just go ahead and give it a hey, good Debbie. coat. Hey, Francis. A good coat. Ah, Tina had to go out and come back in, but she can hear you now. Oh, good. So, is this a better view for everybody? You're able to, like, look down? Not bad. Yeah. We're already up to 134. That's awesome, guys. Wow. Appreciate you guys sharing the love. Okay. <laughs> now, I, oh, well, I, I never did hear what happened. He had neck surgery. Craig did. Did he? Okay. You know what? Good I forgot deal. to get my uh, iron out. Oh, your little craft iron? Yeah, I mean, I got it out, but I forgot to plug it in. Oh. Let me plug it in. Well, when I saw he was going to the hospital, I was praying for him, I tell you what. Okay. 
Let me plug it. Lena, I'm feeling pretty good. Set it up there so that I don't burn myself because that would be me. Yeah, we get a house full of Tinas. We got three Tinas in the house right now. Oh, wow. Make sure I need glue on me. Okay, let's go ahead and dry this just a little bit. Thank you, Katie Lou. Hey, Marilyn. Katie, I got to tell you, you sure you miss you, girl. Hey, Phyllis Nelson. Okay, we're going to dry this Mod Podge, then we're going to iron this fabric right on it. Charlotte Arms is new, new from, from Virginia. Virginia. Welcome. 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 Welcome, Charlotte. Everybody's sharing the love, and I forgot to share the love of my own I share the plan. Okay. Hey, Heather. Oh, thanks for those 50 stars, darling. We appreciate it. Okay, my iron's hot there. Let me take my little piece here. Hey, Debbie Ashley. Hey, Denise Sheets. And I'm going to very carefully try to line up my bottom edge here. Hey, Debbie. Hey, thank you, Sherry. Need to go up a little bit. It's been a long time since we broke 200. I wonder if we can break 200. Tonight. Oh, yeah, it's been a while. We're already up to 141. That's pretty cool. Wow. That little bitty check is about to drive me crazy. Must have more people at home just enjoying the last remnants of that four-day weekend. Oh, yeah. Or three-day weekend. Darlene, I am actually pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. I'm good, Sherry. Thank you for asking. Okay. I think I'm going to tack one little piece down, and then I'll get my parchment paper out here real quick. But let me just tack it down so I can make sure I've got pretty straight edge here. Thank you, Shorty. Shorty sent you 50. Thank you. Okay, now that I got that edge tacked down, Robin. I'm going to go ahead and take my parchment paper here. We're going to lay it down. Linda Clancer is here from Buffalo. I think it's her first time watching. Oh, welcome. And if you're new, we are happy to have you on here. I don't know, Tina. We'll have to think about that. What's that? I guess Mid County's having a craft show this Saturday. So oh. That's we're going. I may go down there, but I'm not going to be participating because I just, we're just swamped with orders. It's hard to get to do any craft shows locally. Oh, you're welcome, Sherry. Francis sent you 50 stars, babe. Oh, thank you, Francis. I'm going to put my iron right here on the tip, make sure I get that tip on there. Judy wants to know, or do you make shirts like the one you're wearing? Uh, no, I actually got this one when we went to um, Yellowstone, what, two summers ago? When we went to visit our daughter in California, and usually whenever we go somewhere, I try to buy me a t-shirt. But I do make t-shirts, and there are some on my website. I just don't have this particular one. Wrapped with... Hey, Elsie. Yeah, I, under I know you understand that for sure. Hey, Malia. Okay, I'm going to kind of angle my scissors, and I'm going to cut up this edge here. And then we'll trim it up a little bit more when we get it. Thank you, Linda. When we get both sides done. I sure appreciate that. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sharing, sharing, loving, caring. <laughs> All that stuff. We love it. Okay. Ooh, 173. Awesome. Oh, wow. Pushing it right up the line. Let me get my smaller scissors here. So we can trim up these edges. Oh, you're welcome, Judy. I'll tell you a funny one on Emma Grace. 
they got one of those Barbie campers, her and Layla did, that you can drive. And Emma, she is in that thing 24-7. Hey, Roberta. Which has got her out of the house and off that iPad, sort of. Now she knows how, she has a kid's messenger, so she'll message me. And it was early this morning when she messaged me. And uh, I'm having to sit there with her. As she's driving. As she's driving. <laughs> Making you sick. And talking. But yesterday, no. Saturday, was it Saturday? I think it was Saturday. I think it was Saturday. She goes, here, Gigi, I'm going to set you right next to me. So she sits me in the seat next to her. And I'm kind of like at an angle. Where I'm, the, the iPad's kind of laying back like this so I can see up. And it feels like she's driving 90 miles to nothing. And she, I see that back of the house. And then I can tell she's slowing down. Then she kind of like makes this little curve like that. And I told Jeff, I, said, I, felt, like I, I felt like I was going to go through the back of the house. But she puts me in there and she'll say, okay, Gigi, sit right here. And you can ride with me and I'll talk. Okay, there's one. We got the front of this one. And Thank I like you. how that came out. It's Thank really you cute. for mentioning that, Judy. We need to be in prayer for Nancy Taylor's family, absolutely. Yeah, I have. I got hey, told Roberta. this afternoon that she passed away, and she was one of our originals, original followers. And Sonia wants to know if there's a right or wrong side to parchment paper. You know, that's a good question. I'm going to say I'm putting the writing up, if that makes any difference. But we yeah. definitely need to be praying for her family in this time. Yeah, definitely. She had been our one of our very first followers, and she's been sick here for a little while. And we just hated to hear that. But it kind of went through the crafting uh, families today. We all were told that she had passed. set that right there and let's see what did I have on this side over here I had kind of a white edge down I think it's easier if I put the Mod Podge down first good evening Penny oh, I got that Mod Podge all the way up the barrel well that's a good question Samantha let's ask Lisa what's that do you have any idea what the Christmas decor theme is going to be this year? I haven't heard what's hot and what's not yet. Oh, gosh. Um, yeah, I saw the other day a lot of navy blue uh, golds and like a rose gold. I've seen a lot of that. And, of course, the buffalo chick is never going to go away. I don't think so. <laughs> it's just, awesome, it's just not going to go away. Sue Adams said she got her Hello Summer door hanger painted today and ready to hang it. Oh, good, Sue. Got to take a picture of it. Hey, Stacy French. Yeah, we did too. We were sorry to hear about it. Yeah, Buffalo Check isn't going to go anywhere. I will see if I can find some pictures of what the new trend is, and I'll put them in there. Yes, she was, Francis. Uh, I bought this at Hobby Lobby last summer, and I had just a little bit of it left from the rag trees. Yeah, we were trying to find it there for a little while. Yeah. Hey, Annette. Hey, This one is such a little little check. A little movement makes a big difference. 
Okay, let me tack down my bottom here. Never underestimate the value of a prayer warrior. Let me tell you. Well, that's really stuck. Okay, let me. There we go. Oh, thank you, Bobby. How are you doing tonight? Good evening, Everdeen. I don't see that. Everdeen Gunnarelli. Sometimes I see something you don't, and sometimes you see something I don't. Yeah, and sometimes if I go back and watch my video, I see comments and, and questions that I don't even see right here. Hey, Sharon. Uh, Pam, I got this at Walmart. It's like twelve ninety six, and it's in the sewing department. And it's a dandy. Lots of people love those little irons. I'm gonna get right over here on this edge. I think I need a little bit more heat. Yeah, I got mine at Walmart. Everything is Char and Randy's cousin. All right. Yeah. Well, we're glad you're here. Well, I went and got all my little trash right here on this side. All the little fuzzy pieces. Yeah, you people on the coastlines, take it easy. Be careful. Make your precautions. All that good stuff. Hey, Teresa Hughes. I always think that I'd like to live, you know, like on the Gulf Coast or... You know, near one of those beaches until the hurricanes start coming through. I remember when I was at school at Pensacola, we had one come through, and I mean, it was some strong, strong wind. Yeah, we love Char and Randy, too. How many of you got to see Randy's duck lamp today? Yeah, it was really cute. It, it turned out really cute. They were... <laughs> oh, they were they were funny. The, the, the conversation was just golden. It was hilarious. Tammy Fitz says hello from Alabama. Hello, Tammy. This is going to have kind of a ragged, fuzzy edge, and that's okay with me because that kind of gives a little bit of. Is, is there a reason you're not covering the sides? I didn't cover the sides. It's too hard just to cover the sides. I'm trying to get the sides uh, easy, so I just painted them a coordinating color. I've noticed a lot of them on Etsy right now are having the sides painted with a coordinating color, and I think it just it just it looks cute. Susie says hello from Arizona. Hello, Susie. I loved Arizona when I went this summer. It's a different kind of heat than Oklahoma for sure. Lisa, at the end of the broadcast, can you leave the link for the uh, Christmas crafting in July? Uh, yeah, I might be able to put it in here now. Because if I do that, I'll lose all my comments and I won't be able to spin for our entries. I just put it on Dina's page, and so I have it. I was able to. Um, yeah, I read it. So uh, saved. Saved. Now, did it pin it? Uh -oh. Unpin that comment. Okay. Let me try this again. I, yeah, I can't do it because it takes me to the page. And I lost all comments. There. I took off my stars and I pinned that. All you do is hold down on it and it'll let you pin it. Not me, it wouldn't. It should. Oh. I haven't taken away your admin privileges. I do not know, but it took me to the page and I was holding down. Let's let it up a little bit, I don't know. But don't forget to comment and uh, share hearts and thumbs ups. And uh, it's it's by your comments that we pick those entries every night to go into the uh, 
to the craft box that Lisa sends out once a month. We pick from those names. Yeah. We draw four names every night or every time we go on. Michelle Cook, I hope you get to feeling better soon, sis. Yeah, my yeah. sister sounds horrible. Yeah. Hey, Joyce. Thanks for sharing that link, Sherry. We appreciate that. Okay. And there is our first one right there. Sherry Drew you says hello from Quebec, Canada. Welcome, Sherry. Sharing a little bit of Quebec love with us. Okay. There we got this one right here. And these will be like a leaner. You can set them on a, a desk or whatnot. Okay, now here I've got this dark blue paint on this one. I made it a darker color. Awesome, Denise. What's your name? And I have this blue and white ticking that was left from last year. Teresa, we did do the drawing for the June Craft and... Um, Deb Tate won that Deb one. Deb Tate won. Hey, Francis Dunn. Okay, let's do this one right here. Louise Hutchison loves your t-shirt. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sissy. When our daughter um, worked in Fresno the first summer she was in California, we drove her golden retriever out there to her. And that was the summer we did two or three things that was on my bucket list. I'd always wanted to go to the Grand Canyon. I um, always wanted to go see Yosemite. And what else did we see? We saw Chicago. Oh yeah, no, that's when we were that's when we were San Jose. Oh. Yeah, that was the next summer. No, that was the third summer. Well, the third summer we saw Eric Clapton. I don't know. She took us a couple of different concerts. And they were both awesome. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> she knows how much her dad likes Chicago, and she had got up and... The music group. Yeah, the music group Chicago. Oh, Sandy, I'm sorry to hear that. What was that? Uh, Sandy Naylor lost her sister in April. I'm sorry. I, I can relate. I lost my brother in January. That's really hard. Real hard. But she... Uh, she got up to go get something to drink, and when she did, she went back and bought backstage passes. With a picture with the band. And had a picture with the band. And Jeff, when she came back, she handed her dad the ticket, and he thought she was just handing him a receipt. He stuck it in his pocket. And then she got very upset because knowing that he didn't even look at what she gave him. And so she told me, and I told him, I said, you need to look at what's in your pocket. And it was the backstage passes. I thought she was just handing me something she didn't want to hold on to. Yeah. She had pockets. Had no idea that's what she did. Josie Martin Ray is here, a newbie from Ohio. Wow, welcome. So somewhere on my phone, there's a picture of us with Chicago, and Emma was with us, was with us that summer. Yep. Emma was with us, and so she's in the picture. Those are just old Walmart glasses on. Yeah, these are all just right. old Walmart glasses. Yeah. I didn't grab my good ones. Oh, I'm sorry, Judy. They lost their golden retriever, got killed on the train track. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, Emma, or Emma. The next summer, or the two summers after that, we were in San Jose and Haley's um, golden retriever she had had for ever got acute lymphoma sarcoma. Cancer. And I think if she would have done anything to save that dog, but he he went really fast. So we were out there when she had to have him put down because he was just so so sick. So we were glad that we were there with her for her little her 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 Samson. She had had him since she was a puppy and in college, and that was just her baby. And now she's got Archie, that golden doodle that we've watched. A couple times. Yeah. A little ball of energy. He, uh... Sarah, I'm doing well. I'm actually upstairs and helping out today. Yeah, Archie is, uh, he's a handful. 
big handful. Yes, they are smart. They're super smart. At one point, we've had all of our dogs, kids' dogs here. Hey, Betsy Troutman. Glad you made it. Okay. We are only eight away from breaking 200, Lisa. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Hey, Tracy. Well, these were my good scissors, and they're not cutting worth anything right now. Been cutting paper with them, probably. No. No. I haven't. Hey, Amanda McCullum. One ninety nine. Wow. Hey, Linda. We are gonna hit two hundred. Yeah, it's been a while. So, did you guys all see the um, two hundred? Wow. Congratulations, everybody. Two hundred's awesome. The Mackenzie Child check uh, napkin I did the other night. I found a place to order those, and so hopefully they're going to be in pretty soon, and I'm going to have them on my website. 200 and still going up. Wow. Awesome. Hoop, hoop, hoop. Thanks, everybody. That is yeah, that that's amazing. That's crazy good. Oh, a mini golden doodle. Now, that would be cute. That would be cute. Well, uh, Archie's full... He's a standard, and I'll tell you what, he is a... Uh, he's a big old dog. And he's just a little over a year old. And these aren't actually, these aren't actually cutouts that we did, but we could cut these out. Mm -hmm. I think these are some we had from last year. These are just leftovers we had. That I had in my shop, yeah. I was in the bedroom where we've got some stuff stored from the shop, and I thought, oh, I could do that tonight instead of an ornament. But we could definitely cut these out. Good evening, Teresa. Okay. It's awesome to see 200 again. It's been yeah, it's been a while. Okay, there's the first side of this one. I think that is just really <laughs> cute. Randy Ross said, "I made it." You're welcome. <laughs> hey, Randy. Hey, Randy. Kind of getting some of my fuzz off here on this one. That's awesome, Pam. Thank you. Linda has twin golden doodles. Wow. Wow. Yeah, the most I saw was 2011. I mean, uh, 211. 211? 2011 would be crazy. Wow, that would be crazy. What size are the trees? Do we know what size the trees uh, are? <clears throat> I can measure them here in just a second. Because I actually know where there is a ruler up here you know i'm sure you probably could bobby wants to know could you use the roller thing that cuts fabric um i don't see why you could yeah if i had my mat here i could probably do that let me get my nikki palmer's here from the uk hey nikki i found three of these today the aussie doodles are cute too that's awesome it is 13 inches long and it is about nine and an eighth inches wide at the bottom. I'm just not sure, Lisa, about the, the golden doodles and Aussie doodles. I, I'm not sure I want to have a dog that's smarter than me. <laughs> you think so? Jeannie Bernadini's here, and it's her first time watching from Florida. Oh, welcome, Jeannie. Hey, Chris Buse, we're doing good. How are you? Hey, Bertha. Lisa said if we get up to 500, I can take the quest and sing. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's so good. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Hey, Virgie. There's your cypress sprinkle. Hey, Bertha. So glad everybody stopped in today. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Fun. Oh, wow, Sandy. Sandy says they have a nine-month-old regular Aussie, and he's a handful. That's the third one. Oh, wow. I, uh, I'd like to get another dog, but between taking care of 
grandkids and grand dogs. Hey, Deb Tate. Oh, your sister sent you 50 stars. Thank you, Michelle. Joyce Knight sent you 100 stars. Thank you, Joyce. I'm trying to get my line straight here. I'm a little bit raspy, but I'm feeling pretty good. And I'm Donna, I've never heard of Van Vleck, Texas. Have you? A what? Van Vleck. Huh. Van Vleck, Texas. Is that a dog? No, Texas. Oh, what? Oh, what? It's a town. Yes. That's where Donna Davis is from. Van Vleck, Texas. Yeah, I don't know, Deb. The notifications and stuff are still just really wonky. Hey, Debbie Avia. Let me make sure I got this straight. Yes, those golden doodles are nothing if not oh. full of energy. Oh my goodness. Ten month old. Well, that's about old, isn't it? Or is he a year now? He's a year now. He's a year, okay. Our uh, grandson will be a year old in on Friday. And this last year has just flown by. And in South Central Texas, about an hour from Houston. Okay. Okay. For some reason, this doesn't look straight like the other one did. Why do you dry it before you put the fabric on? Well, you dry it, and then you use your iron, and it'll heat activate the uh, glue. So you have to put the flatter flatters without any wrinkles. Kinda. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, thank you, Denise. I didn't have as much problem while ago when I got that centered up, but for some reason now I'm doubting myself. The other one may be wonky. I wasn't so even thinking about it. Deb has a mini chorky. A chorky. So a yorky and a mini chihuahua, mini yorky. Oh wow. A mini chorky. I grew up with a schnoodle. Back then it was called a Heinz 57 mutt. Mm -hmm. And hey, Rhonda. my. Uh, I have told this story before. I had a miniature poodle, and she had puppies, and she died just right after she had her puppies, and the puppies died. I can't remember what happened. It's been so long ago, but I was heartbroken. I was probably 10 or 11, maybe, maybe 10, and my dad, I can remember my dad telling me, if you find another dog and you want it, you, you can have it. Of course he didn't mean that he was just trying to get me from crying <laughs> and i went to spend the night with my one of my sisters actually it's my sister's best friend but i had spent the night with her that night and the next morning her aunt came in from oklahoma city and she had these dogs and they were an accident from her registered schnauzer and her neighbor's uh registered poodle and they were miniatures and so Stephanie's mom didn't want the dog and nobody else wanted the dog and I didn't even call and ask my parents. I just said, I'll take the dog. And so when my mom came pick me up, she didn't say anything. She said, you'll have to ask your dad. Well, I already knew if my, my dad was gonna let me have it because I don't think he ever told me no about anything, really. Your sister will probably attest to that. And, uh, but I still had just a little bit in the back of my mind that he wasn't going to let me get it. So did Henry have more poodle or more schnauzer traits? More schnauzer. He looked more schnauzer, but he had a really, uh, it was like a salt and pepper color. Anyway, he, um, my dad was, uh, and his uh, friend, they shared rides back and forth to work. And it was his friend's turn to drive that week. And they were letting my dad off. And I ran out there and I had this, I mean, he was like this big of a ball. He wasn't very big, like a little ball of cotton yarn. And I ran out there with him all wrapped up. And my dad said, what do you have? In that tone of voice, I thought, uh oh, I'm not going to get to keep it. And I said, I got a puppy. And he said something like, did I tell you you could get a puppy? And I told him, yeah, you told me if I found a dog, I could have one. And of course, then he, his friend goes, well, what's his name? And the only thing I could think of was Henry, and it was my dad's friend's name. So the friend that was with him's name was Henry. And so when my dad heard that I named his dog, my dog after his friend, which I didn't, I just liked the name, um, I got to keep him. And I had him all the way up until Jeff and I got married, moved to California. And he had to stay back here in Oklahoma with my parents because we couldn't have him on the military base. 
and um, he'd gotten really sick and they had a flood come through Oklahoma that year and everything was just like washed out and my dad's tire accidentally bumped him and they had to put him down and so that was hard. I'm so sorry Bobby. Fur babies are family aren't they? They are. Okay. There is our blue one. A cute little blue one. Hey, Hambone. And I got it right next to this red one. And the next one is going to be a black and white check. Buffalo hey, check. Nina. Watching from Arkansas. Just across the border. Yeah, just ac across the road. Okay, let's do this little black one here real quick. But, um,. We had him and my sister at that time, she had a, uh, oh gosh, what was he? What was that dog, Jeff? Ooh, which one? Michelle's dog. Which one? The short stack, whatever. He was a beagle. Short stack was ours. No. That was the, that was the long haired. What did she have? What was that? It was a, not a beagle. Joe? Yeah. Joe was a beagle. Was he a beagle? Beagle, beagle. I can't remember. He was a big no, beagle. No, Basset Hound. Basset Hound. That's what Basset. it was. And so we had that at that time, and there was never a dull moment. Awesome, Shannon. Hello, Jerry from West Virginia. Okay. Well, we used to drive through West Virginia all the time on our way to and from school out at Liberty University. Oh, yeah. Well, I got that one right on right where I wanted it. Good deal. Okay. Doreen Schwab says hello from Wisconsin. Oh, you know what? I forgot to dry that. I guess we'll see what it's going to do. No, no, no. I forgot to dry the glue. Let's see what happens. It's going to dry the glue for us, I guess. Watch, watching from Huntsville, Alabama. Yeah, my dad was a truck driver for years. Hey, Mary Tyle. Hey, Sissy Custer. Hey, Suzette. Suzette's here. Hey, Suzette. Yeah, I forgot to dry it so I can tell that this glue is moving. Hey, Penny. Oh, that's getting hot. Okay, let's see what happens now since I didn't dry it. It's a little wet. Yeah, they're smart, Deb. They are so smart. We're gonna let it, I'm going to cut it and we're going to let it cool just a little bit and hey, go back Deborah? over it. Hey, our weekend was really pretty good. I was really wiped out the 4th. I don't really know why, um, but after we ate, I just I was just pretty much out of it the rest of the day. Shannon, we are in Stillwell, Oklahoma, just across the Oklahoma-Arkansas line. We are really close to Arkansas. Thank you, Mary. Okay, let's see what this is going to do. Oh, yeah, it's going to work. It's cooling down a little bit. Doesn't feel wet anymore. Awesome, Tina. Liberty is right down the road from us. We are in Blue Ridge, Virginia. Oh, we've been there before. Go Flames. I mean, we've been to Blue Ridge before. Yeah. Lisa was at Liberty for one year before I took her away, but I was there for three years, and then I went uh, went back and finished online. That was a long year, let me tell you. Oh, hush. You're fine. You didn't die, did you? Hey, it felt like I was going to die when you went back to get your bachelor's. <laughs> Why? Because I need absolute silence throughout the entire house. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when I went back to school, I was a much different student than I was the first time around. <laughs> I was focused. It was like, oh gosh, I missed one. Yeah, we know where Russellville is. 
one of our coaches from high school just moved back to Russellville. And this is going pretty fast. This is a little thicker fabric. What if I just cut the wood with these scissors? Yeah, the black check actually looks pretty cute. Okay, that one turned out pretty good. Una is about 25 miles east of Russellville. Oh, right. okay. We've got one more side here, and then we're going to fix out a pretty star and put on these. Nope, not far from us, Deb. Yeah, we're, we're not far from the Arkansas line where we're at. Mary Gurry is in, where'd it go? Blackstone, Virginia. Okay. That's close to Lynchburg, isn't it? Or Richmond, maybe? Tammy Martin's niece graduated from Liberty and now lives in Lynchburg. And she lives in Danville. Well, we know where Danville is. We've been through Danville. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we were up to 219 here a little bit ago. We almost broke 220. I'm going to drive this side. <laughs> a lot of people out watching craft here. Oh, wow, got 207. That's awesome. We hit 219. And Lisa has the Christmas in July link pinned down at the bottom of the page if anybody's wanting to know about that. You Joey. can go there and you can see who the crafters are. We've got uh, some pictures in there. Joey Bailey says hello. Hello, Joey. This is some wrinkly fabric here. Let me get my sides done here. 60 miles south of Richmond, all right. Okay. I'm gonna take my iron and just tack down this bottom a little bit so it doesn't shift on me. Okay, let's take our that yeah we've already got uh, 33 crafters lined up to do it i'm excited char and i are having fun sponsoring this one it's going to be friday uh, july 23rd through sunday uh july 25th ah uh, donna <laughs> i kept looking off that is the only problem I had um, with it. The video part of it was good. It was the intro that, that kept throwing me off because doing it landscape and you're not for sure where the camera's at. But my second one's a lot better. And it'll be up there soon, I'm sure. But we've had fun uh, doing that. And being in the first group, we've kind of helped work out some of the bugs for the future crafters that's going to do it. I think she's getting ready to do pilot, the pilot two group. There we go. Put all my fabric here underneath me. Okay. Let's try. Straighten up these edges. Oh, well, that's awesome, Mary. I'm not too much to straighten up there. But I have my glue coming up right here, so let me put a little bit of glue down here. I think that's the only place I had a place coming up. And right up here. 
Mary Beth Schwalm is here and she's new to the page. Oh, welcome, Mary Beth. Welcome. Okay, there is our third one right here. Move all this away. Donna Strobel says, how do I look it up on Roku? I have the app on the Rule TV. Um, I know our app wouldn't work on our TV, so we had to go buy the stick. The box. We yeah, the, the, box. the box. And if you just, uh, if you have sound, you can say uh, craft, clap, ah, craft around the clock TV and it should pop up. You may have to add the channel because it's in the channel, uh, the streaming channels is what it's in. Okay, there's these three. And I think I'm going to put the stripe one in between those right there. Okay, let's go ahead and let's make us a star to put on these. We cut out three of these little two and a half inch stars. And I'm going to take my Mod Podge. And Mary's from Michigan. Awesome. You know, I probably should have painted those first. Let me let that one dry. Let's paint these first. Oh, that'd be cool, Deb. I'd like to see that. Hey, Char. Char sent you 100 stars, babe. Hey, Char. I'm going to use some of this gold right here on it. And then we're going to put some rust on it. We're Hello, just going to use Judith. this metallic um, gold. Judith Turner is new here. Hey, Judith. Welcome. Hey, Terry Hilton. Welcome to the group. Let's go ahead and just paint these as gold. You can tell Charlene is, is not from the north. How's that? Because she said, hey, y'all. Oh, yeah. Char's a... I can hear her saying that, too. In my head. I heard that in her voice. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about Char? Yeah. Yeah. Char is the other half of my brain. That's what she and I both say. Yeah, I had to stop Lisa from helping me with my duck lamp today just because of just because of you and Randy. <laughs> I, I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> Let me wipe off this. This we're, we're the mod glue, podge. We're the glue part of duck duck glues. There we go. Hey, Tracy Pickerling. Okay, I'm just going to paint these as a gold color. Oh, wow, I missed that. Almost hit 250. Wow. I'm going to go ahead and do the you back of it because we're going to see the back of these two. So I'm going to go ahead and paint the back. Judith Turner is here from Massachusetts. Wow. Awesome. Just a hop, skip, and a halfway across the country. <laughs> I've never been to, to Massachusetts. I've been close. Janet Graham, it's her first time here. She's from Indianapolis, Indiana. Awesome. Welcome to the page. And we have been through Indianapolis on oh, our yeah, way back lots. to school. Well, I mean, I only live over in Rockford, Illinois, so I mean, right. yeah, I've been there before. Been to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Never got to see a 500 run, but, but went there and saw the museum and all that good stuff. Okay. Really interesting. Let me throw that brush out of the way there. Okay, let's dry these just real quick. Hey, Charlotte. Hey, Margie. Yes, Char, you do need to add a picture of the best lamp to your page for sure. Yeah, you do. It was really cute. Hey, Kathy Garrett from Georgia. Hey, Lisa from Virginia. Marge is here from New Mexico. Okay, now we can go back and add the Mod Podge. And let me just go ahead and use this piece of paper here. Laura is new from Southern California. Jolene Graff is here, first time from Illinois. I am from Illinois myself originally. Okay, I'm just gonna use a piece of this. I'm gonna go ahead and put some Mod Podge on them. Herbie Ladies Crafting in the house, Lisa. If you have a link, be hey, sure to Sherry. drop it. That's just her page, though. I yeah, mean, but she her... I just told her she could drop her link, too. Yeah. Is that Sherry? Okay. I've just kind of thrown some Mod Podge on these. And we're going to take some cinnamon. And Char is absolutely right. You're going to love Lisa. And almost everybody that comes at one time or another has learned to tolerate me. <laughs> 
most everybody. <laughs> most everybody. I'm doing great. Thank you so much for asking it. Glad to be up uh, yeah, upstairs with Lisa and trying to help a little bit for a change. Okay, let me show you these. I just painted those gold and then I put some cinnamon on it to kind of make it look rusty. It smells good. I was about to say, can you smell it? And then I'm going to put some on this side. Oh, thanks, Mary. Can you show us how to make a homemade flashlight? A homemade flashlight. Hmm. Um. Oh, thanks, Ann Bone. Thank you, Michelle. Okay, I'm going to just take a little bit of my fingers and just kind of sprinkle that on the back. A homemade flashlight. Hey Blake, I'm sure we probably could. It's not on tap for tonight, though. <laughs> I was just being self-deprecating. I wasn't fishing for compliments. <laughs> <laughs> little bit more here it does smell good though was that Deb Tate yeah said? we've been through a lot together Deb we sure have Deb and I have for sure yeah, you and you and Lisa sure have okay there's that one right there so let's dry these well let me cover up that dust right there and let's dry these real quick it does smell good though if you, if you have a crafting page feel free to drop your link we uh we're not in a competition, and, and we'd like to help you reach your goals and get more people to see you, too. Uh, Michelle, these are two and, two and a half, half inch. inch. Two and a half inch, and she cut them out with the glow forge. Yeah, and I'm getting ready to put some stars on our website, too. I just haven't had time to cut them out to show you, but I do have some. Yeah, we are waiting for some more wood to come in, too. Yeah, and we've got some more wood coming in. Okay. Hey, Tony Lynn McGee. I'm going to just take you. and put a star. I'm just going to hot glue it onto each one of these. And that's why I went ahead and finished front and back. That way, um. if you see both sides... I'm kind of putting them a little catty corner, just a little bit, make them a little bit different, just like that. Will this be a kit? It probably will be a kit, but we can cut these out and put them on the website. Let me set that one aside. Um, okay, I had to block Mr. Flashlight. A what? Mr. Flashlight? Yeah. Yeah, I had to block him. Yeah. Troll. Good. Sometimes we get trolls. You never know. Okay. Get that one on there. And I think these are a little bit different, different sizes, just looking at them. I think that one's a little shorter. Okay. Let's get our last one here. Jeremiah Dreams said, hey, Lisa. Hey, how are you doing? Okay, right here. Let's just get a, whoops, a little bit of glue right there. And let's stick this one on. Uh, Pam, we could probably make primitive stars. Yeah, we have, in fact, I know there's a primitive star in our patterns. Yeah, yeah these are different, different heights. I think this is the tallest one right here. A little bit taller, not much. It just looks taller. Violet Collins is here from Newfoundland, Canada. 
Let me turn yeah, this I blocked around. him, Joyce. I blocked him. There we go. This does not come as a crafting kit, at least not right now. Yeah, not right now it's not, but we can cut out these um, blocks and put them on there with the stars. We may do that later with a cutout from the smaller wood, the thinner wood. Yeah, we could probably do that, put them on a stand. Yeah. Yeah, we might could do that. Anyway, thank you guys. I appreciate that. Okay, let me get my book out here real quick. Oh, it's almost time to send for names. Names for the So blind. I can write down the names? Names for the blind for the Let me set these right here to the side. Beautiful brown-eyed box of crafting. And let me get my Mod Podge covered up so that I don't uh, throw away that piece of paper. We're going to draw four names that go into our end of the month drawing. Can you see my book? I do not see the book. Yes, okay. it's underneath there. Let me get my iron out of the way. Is it the red one? Yeah. Because I sure don't want to get burnt. No. Even though it's a little iron, it will burn you. Okay. Hold on just a second. Let me get this over here. Okay, I got my book here. I got a pen. And let's Maybe go to... I just blocked him from my my view. No, it should have blocked him because you're an admin on here. Well, I know, but... I will go in. Thing. I will go in and fix that. We'll get rid of him. For sure. Yeah, I don't see him anymore. I, I'm sorry that you guys can see him. I guess I just blocked him from my own thing. But we'll get him blocked. Okay. Get let's, removed. let's get uh, hey, Brenda, four names here. Okay, the first name is Pam Doss. Okay. And the second name? The second name is Tina Stewart. And the third name? Tracy Morris, M O R A C E, Pickerling. Okay, and the last name that we're picking tonight is Sherry Wilson, S H E R I, Sherry Wilson. Okay, and these names right here will all go in our box for the uh, July kit that we'll give away on August the 1st. Where did you get? Wally World. Yeah, I got the. Iron from Walmart, and it was like, I want to say twelve ninety six maybe. Yeah, let me show them to you one more time here. And hey, then the, the rest of the week, we're going to be making Christmas ornaments. And right here is the three ones, and these will lean or sit on their own like that. Yeah, keep coming back, keep commenting, yeah. and that improves your chances of getting in the drawing for the end of the month. I'll have to take these downstairs and take a picture of them and put them on tonight. I don't want to be friends with... Who's that? Is that that same guy? Good night, Shelly. Block. Okay, I have blocked him. Okay, now he is blocked. Yeah, we got him. Okay. I got him. At least, had, at least they had to get him since I'm on my own thing, I guess. You should be able to block him, though. I, well, I, I, oh, you're yeah, welcome, Tracy. Welcome. Anyway, you guys have a great evening, and we'll see you guys tomorrow at 830. And we are going to start making some Christmas ornaments this week for the kickoff of Christmas in July. I got him, Judy. Christmas in July. Uh, extravaganza. And I put the link there at the bottom. You can go join that group. And that way you can watch all of the 33 crafters. And there are some awesome crafters that's going to be there. And you guys have a great evening. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Uh, Tina, it's at 830.